Brian. Wow! Welcome, folks. And you got a small growl out here because I had a vicious uh, sore throat, folks. That was, was, I was part of it. And then uh, yesterday, uh, Bridget and I, actually, we have a brand new German Shepherd that just came in from Germany. So we had to do a road trip to uh, Atlanta. He flew in 11 weeks old from Frankfurt to Atlanta. But the reason I was out was most, well, it was the sore throat. Anyway, um, I'm back, but I can't growl as loud, that's for sure. I'll talk as loud. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 231, Nasdaq's off 198, SP's off 59. Gold, gold contract down $26.80, trading at 1940 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $23.69 an ounce. Platinum off $16.90, 932 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $89.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading down 25 ticks, 108.14. That 10-year is yielding right now 4.470. Uh, 30 year down two full points plus 10 ticks at 116.08. And then if we go look at King Dollar, King Dollar is up 24 ticks, trading 105, 351. Euro is at 106, yen is trading 147, British pounds at uh, 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the futures, we're already broken the low. You take a look at this. You get a wide bar, too. Okay, there's the low. You're breaking the low. And what's going to be interesting, we got our man Tim Ward coming on. But look at this. This is <laughs> this is not good for a bounce. That's the arms. So right now there's no fear. 1.04 arms reading, okay? When you get 1.04, that means that there's just as much buying on the left-hand side of the aisle as to the right-hand side. <laughs> That's you normally don't get that, you know, when you basically have come down, you know, yeah, they get the NASDAQ down 1.4%, you get the S&Ps off 1.1, then the Dow is off uh, 0.64. Gold, we go take a look at the gold market out here. Gold is coming into two different signs of strength. Now, you're going to have the volume, meaning we're going to have a volume expansion. Yesterday, and a lot of the gold stocks, almost every gold stock, actually the S&P did this too. You actually went to a higher high, gave it up on price, and when that happens is that most times you're right back up there. So if we take a look at this gold contract, you're going to see yesterday we did 230,000 contracts. Today you're doing 213, you're down $26. Well, you're coming into the 200,000 from last week as well as another 170,000 from a few weeks ago. So we'll see if we get that rejection of lower price. We go to the dollar, we take a look at, well, no, let's go to the NQs first. We go look at the NQs. What we have inside the NQs. Now the NQs, this is how you can tell the NQs are stronger than the S&P. You can see the NQs haven't busted out its lows yet. You know, bottom line is that the NQs are down 240, but that low that we're talking about in the NQs is uh, 14,792, and we're at nine seven. And we're at 14,907. We go to the let's go to the note and bond market because this is a big move by the 10-year for sure. So you had Powell come out yesterday. Bottom line, you know, market basically traded sideways. That, that being said, market woke up this morning and says, man, I want lower price, meaning the bond market. Now, if we take a look at the larger picture inside this 10-year, right now, I'm gonna, I'll string these together. We're, we're at 108.14. Let me pull this back. I had to pull this back 30 years. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. So what you have is this is that 
we went below the swing from last year, which is the 108.26. The, the next level is this, yeah, it's, it's 104.34. We go to 104.34, man. <laughs> that 10-year and these rates, uh, that, that would be another hike. That's, that's how it works. We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And the dollar is the big wild card out here, folks. Has been, is, still continues to be. If you take a look at the dollar, you're going to see the setup. Yesterday, it was pretty amazing that it goes right up to where, you know, you'd have a false break top side. You came down 200 ticks below the swing point, and then it just said, see you, don't want to be here as soon as Paul started talking goes top side. Now today what you have again is an inverted hammer. So it's like, okay, this number is still in play. And you know, we'll take a look at some of the heaviest stocks inside the NASDAQ. You got uh, Delta is, uh, no, Dollar Tree is trading down four and a half percent. Lucid, the car company is four and a half percent. AMD is four percent. Inside of the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, put this up point wise. You only have three stocks that have any green in them. United Health is the only stock that's given the Dow anything. We're down 252. United Health's given it 71 positive points. Taken away from it, you get minus 33 for Caterpillar, minus 33 for Goldman, minus uh, 31 for. Salesforce and minus 28 for McDonald's. We're going to take a look at the 30 year. Now, this gets interesting. So, 30 year, you talk about USA. Yeah. So, this is down two points and 10 ticks, also blowing that bottom up, you know. So, if we do US 1, let's see where this one's hitting. A US-1, what happens, folks, is that that's a generic string together of a chart that I can bring back. In this case, I can bring it back 50 years, actually. I'm going to go 30 right now. Pull this baby up. OK, so 116. Yeah, you're right around there, 116, 113. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a 